Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our legacy challenge. I know I just uploaded this one, but I'm really into it right now. Thought I saw a mosquito. And I really just want to play this one. I hope you guys don't mind. I promise I'll upload all my other LPs eventually. I've just been really busy with school, as you guys know from my last post. Thank you to everyone who commented an idea for me to do for when we reach 10k. We're almost there and I seriously just, I, <laughs> I can't believe it. It's so crazy. I just want to thank you guys so freaking much for subscribing and watching me and just everything you guys are like the sweetest ever and yeah i just hope you know how thankful i am so without any further ado let's get into this episode of legacy challenge okay guys here we are back in legacy house i'm very very excited to be back very excited <laughs> so i uh redid the house like i said i was going to do i didn't film it i know some of you guys wanted me to but um I had no idea what I was gonna do and I just didn't want to feel the pressure of the camera being on me. Um, so yeah, this is what uh, I came up with. I'm really bad at like exterior um, building, all that kind of stuff, <laughs> but uh, it's all good. So I'll give you guys a small tour. And again, I'm sorry if you can hear my keyboard. I know it's loud. I know, I know, I know. And I regret it buying it because it was kind of expensive. So I don't know what I'm going to do now. Some of you guys like it, which I thought was funny. <laughs> anyway, hi. <laughs> She's so cute. Uh, this is like the entryway of the home. It's like a little foyer area. Just a place you can put your stuff down. Um, there's a mirror right there to check yourself out. Hi, Bean. Such a happy bean. And yeah, so there's the entryway. You walk through here. We have the dining area. It's very... How do I explain? Uh-oh, the roof is cutting right there. It's very, like, Upper East Side penthouse apartment. Like, it reminds me of Gossip, Gossip Girl a little bit. Um, like with all like the clean lines and the clean colors so yeah here's the dining area we got a mirror the dining table come through here we have a bunch of family photos and these big beautiful windows we can see the snow it's so nice here's the kitchen it's very uh, simple but I love it I absolutely love it I got us a new fridge I finally put away the one that Santa got us uh, I know it's sad, but one of the legacy challenge um, challenge things is to buy the most expensive fridge and the most expensive stove and fully upgrade them. So since we have a crap ton of money, I thought, why not get them now? So this is the most expensive fridge and the most expensive stove. <laughs> um, come through here. We have the tree out and ready because it's winter. We've got some presents already. Um, and this is just the living area. This was kind of hard for me. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So it's kind of just like thrown together at the moment. I'm going to try and make it better later. She's so freaking cute. See, she's wearing a Gucci shirt. We can finally afford Gucci. <laughs> Here are the photos of her. And this is the uh, stereo that Carlos got from work. We're actually passing it down generation to generation, which I thought was pretty cute. Through this door here, this is Olive's room. It's very pink and it's very girly because I think that kind of suits her, like pink and girly. I don't know why. I guess because she's like a social butterfly and she is cheerful. So I think it would make sense that she would be like kind of girly. Here's one of the paintings that Savannah did early on. I try and keep most of the things around the house uh, just for like sentimental value. Come through here. This is the downstairs bathroom. Very is it black and white, just like the rest of the house. I really like black and white homes. I think they're super nice. All right, let's head upstairs. This uh, house is a three bedroom house. Yes, it is. Up, up, up we go. More beautiful windows. 
Um, and then over here we have a office space area, more photos. Um, again, black and white with like pops of color. Um, cha cha cha. Here's the chess table area with one of another one of Savannah's paintings. We have the three women in the family. Olive will be up here eventually when she grows older. This is such a nice hallway. It's just like so um satisfying <laughs> okay through here we have the master bedroom it's actually really small for a master oops hey no you ruined my house tour no yeah master bedroom uh very small but nice this is their bathroom very small again, but nice. Uh, okay, and then ee! through here is Oliver's bedroom. It's very cute, very uh, boy-like. I really love this color of the walls and yeah, and isn't this cute? He has a picture of him and Auntie Wren. So cute, more paintings by Savannah very nice room so yeah where are you headed where are you headed they're sleeping in there what are you okay you're just gonna need it. okay that's fine so yeah that's the new house i hope you guys like it it definitely is more modern and more young than the last house uh, i think that suits max and zara's style and i think it would be fun to do like a complete new home renovation for every generation um just like depend like based off of their style and their aesthetic so yeah another thing i got ren a coffin i deleted her bed and i got her a coffin instead you guys said that this helps with her vampire energy a lot more than a bed does so yeah got her that what else what else what else Ooh, these are ready to be evolved okay so yeah you guys saw in the last episode we aged up miss olive so she's now a child she is a what is it a social butterfly meet five new sims we already did that what the heck happened to that that's annoying it's three in the morning so i don't think anybody is gonna come strolling by at this hour so we're gonna have to redo that which is really stupid but okay um, I think in this episode, I want to get Ren to go to Solani. I went through your guys' creations on my hashtag, which is SimSav. You guys make such cool Sims. <laughs> but unfortunately, a lot of the custom content I didn't have. So I did have to replace some things. But I did place them in the world. So you guys gave me an alien. You guys gave me some mermaids. You guys gave me some vampires. Some witches. You guys gave me like a whole array of things, so I'm very pleased. Um, I placed them all in the world. So if we see them, I will definitely make Ren introduce herself to them. Actually, since it's nighttime, why don't we get her to go right now? Uh, she can just go by herself. I know <laughs> that this Let's Play isn't about Ren. She's not an heir or anything like that, but... I love her, and I love her storyline, and I know that you guys too do too, so we're going to focus on her as if she were an heir. <laughs> Maybe we can find some more collectibles here as well for the lot. I'm just going to get her to go to this Ohanali beach. Um, I know that a lot of people go there. Even though it's like really late at night, hopefully she can meet some people. Oh, it's... Uh thunderstorm craze well we all know that she's a mermaid but i'm not really i'm not really interested in her i would rather find someone who is find someone who is custom made i'm just gonna get her to hit the bar i think that she could find some people here maybe let's see who's this bartender this is charlie nava she doesn't look Maxis, so let's give her a polite introduction. Hi, Charlie Nava. Dad, oh, dad. Dad, dad, dad to you as well. 
She's pretty. I like her hair. She's all freckly too. She's definitely not basic. She's already flirty as well. Oh my gosh. Ask if mermaid. Okay, maybe we should probably get to know her better. A little bit better before we go on to that. Uh, hmm. Deep conversation. Are we friends already? We are. We're already friends. That's what, um, oh, she hates children. That's what is so good about being polite. Like ra being raised as a good child, you get that polite introduction. Really helps with like making friends. So she's a goofball. She hates children. Um, let's just ask her if she's a mermaid. She's already our friend, so we can just ask. Can you like go away? I'm trying to have a deep conversation with homegirl here, and I really love her name, Charlie. Uh oh, mermaid, what gave you that idea? Okay, I guess we don't know her as well as we thought. So, let's get that relationship up some more. Maybe we should give her a gift. Let's give her... What do we have? Uh... Let's give her a crocus. Crocus flowers share glee and cheer through their bloom. Oh, how cute! That's adorable! Oh, I think she liked it! Is that our maid? Why is he always around? I know that you don't like us. You're always glaring at us whenever you come around. Is it because we never talk to you? Are you, like, bitter because we... Let's ask her. Let's ask her if she's a mermaid now. Okay, you're just tense, I think. That's just like your vibe. Ask her, ask her, ask her. Oh, did she leave? Oh, wow. Whatever, dude. At least we're good friends with her now. That was pretty, uh, pretty successful. I think this is a Maxis Sim. What's your name? Yeah, you are. For sure. What are these little light bulbs? Hone logic skill? That's so cool! And look, she's very happy from giving a gift, making a new friend, pleasant conversation, deep connection. Polite is right, made a good new friend, decorated. Wow, she really likes Charlie a lot. And look at that relationship bar. That flew up. Like, wow. Wow! Okay, while we're here, I do want Ren to come over to the this thing. Fly here as a bat. Uh, and buy beach supplies because we need a... What is it that we need? A coconut tree because we don't have any. And then what else is there? Pineapple. Sure. Um, I think that's all we needed. Cool. Okay. Any other people around? Whoa. Whoa. I didn't realize I was speeding through time. Nope. 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 <laughs> uh, mm -mm. That's a Maxis Sim. All right. It looks like the sun might be coming up soon. So I'm going to get her to head home. That was pretty successful. We met someone that wasn't Max's maid. I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. Maybe we can invite her over or something. Sorry if my audio sounded weird for a second there. My mic cut off um, and stopped recording. So it's gonna sound weird with the camera audio. Hey, I heard you became friends with Charlie Nava. She's pretty cool. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> uh, she is actually very cool. Mm. Let's invite her over. I'd like to get their green bar like filled up. Yay, she'll be right over. That's what's up. There she is. There she is. What is she wearing? Overalls. Oh my god, she actually came to Ren's door. Oh my god, she's sharing a secret about her peeing her pants. Ren, that ain't it, girl. Alright, let's ask her if she's a mermaid now. Oh my god, Ren! Get your booty inside! 
Holy canole! Whoa! I need to, like... Sometimes... She doesn't die outside. Oh, Winterfest is tomorrow. And sometimes she does. I think when it's cloudy, she's fine. But once it stops being cloudy, she, like, starts to sizzle. You guys were telling me, ew. Ew. Maybe we should, like, introduce ourselves. Oh, we know him already. Or do we? Yeah, we know him. Um, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, some of you guys said that I should build her like underground catacombs. Like for like little tunnels where she can like, <laughs> like go in between buildings successfully. <gasps> Charlie is a mermaid. Something sure seemed fishy about her. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my god. 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 Are you good enough? I know you're like the first girl that we met, but like... <laughs> Kango! No, I'm good. Thanks, though. But I do want um, Ren to create a club. Let's just call it... Friends. Let's add... Kengo. Charlie. Where's Jill at? What the heck? Why didn't anything from the last episode save? <sighs> I wonder if she she's flirty again, you guys. I think she likes us. Let's ask her if she's single. Yeah, okay. Goodbye. She's single. And she's taking the flirt. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, Ren has never been kissed, I don't think. Not that I can remember. Max's boss offers him the chance to do extra training. Obviously take the training. L invite to hang out. Charlie, go over by the fire. I want your, your first kiss to be um, special. Of course. And I think that like... The first person that would show interest in her, she would like, I don't know, she would probably be extremely clingy, I would say, and like really wanting to like move fast. Where'd she go? Good thing it's cloudy, otherwise she would have sizzled. Is this Jill right here? No, it's not. Did she leave or did she go back on our computer? Fool! That is so annoying! Do you guys think they're cute together? She seems to really like us and she seemed to like, like us like right off the bat too. Bye! We'll be seeing ya! Oh boy! Awesome. Awesome times. Ooh, the bills. Ooh, the bills. We can't forget about those. If we forget the bills even once, if we get our power shut off even once, we get a negative point or something like that. Cool. Okay. So she really needs... Yeah, she's getting herself a plasma pack. And then why don't you, um, hibernate? What is this? Vampires won't awaken from hibernate unless they must. Very interesting. Huh. Let's try it. I've never done that before. Why don't you talk about school with your brother? I want you guys to be pretty close. Siblings? You guys are like basically the same age. Joke about weird animals. So I was thinking, I don't know, I don't want you guys to hate me, but cute. Um, I kind of want Max to go on a secret date with April. Because, okay, just hear me out. Hear me out for like two seconds. Max has always been a player. He's like a natural born player. 
and you guys have seen it. You guys have seen it in other episodes. Like, uh, no matter how hard I wanted him to be with Zara, he would just kiss April and just be really just definitely just just a, just a player like through and through. So I think it goes with the story and it'll like give us some spice in this let's play and I don't know maybe Zara is not really feeling it either like she kind of regrets having kids she regrets settling down so soon oh she got promoted what good on you girl what, what are you at tech guru five okay um yeah and I, I just think I just think maybe she's regretting uh settling down so soon so maybe she's not giving Max what he needs. Um, so I was thinking maybe we can like go on a date with April and just see like what happens. I'm definitely not gonna move Zara out. I have put in way too much work on her in this on this sim. Definitely not gonna move her out, but. I, I foresee some issues coming soon in their relationship. She may or may not know about them, about what goes on with April. Oh, nice. Very nice. <laughs> Etta Wiles is wondering if I want to meet her someplace. Probably not, but you know what? Maybe we should invite her parents over. They have never met the, gra the g their grandkids. <laughs> Pretty messed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and invite them over. Ooh, Max got promoted too. Good job, my boy. All right, it looks like they're here. She served some grilled cheese. So why don't you call to meal? Come and eat. And everyone sit at the table and everyone get to know each other. Oliver, why don't you do a nice friendly introduction? He has long, beautiful yeah. hair. I love it. Yeah. And his mom has super short, her mom has super short hair. Okay, also friendly introduction to your gram gram. All of you as well. This is so cute. Little grilled cheese date. This is definitely not the first time that they met. Obviously, they've been around for like the birth and them growing up and stuff, but I actually haven't done it in The Sims yet. So, yeah. So they're, just, they're just having some uh, lovely times. Um, Max is like, hey, gang, I'm going to watch TV. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. You should introduce yourself to them as well, just because you don't know them, and that's bad. We probably should have done that earlier, but it's all good. So tomorrow's Wednesday. Everyone's just getting their sleep on. Let me hit it with the auto lights. No, 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 no. Max, no. Nope. Just tuck her in and then go in your own bed, please. Oh, and maybe you guys should woohoo, because your uh, relationship is probably really low, isn't it? But I guess that goes with the story. Where? Oh, no, it's still really good. But the pink bar is a little low. Oh my gosh, look at Ren's vampire energy from hibernating. Holy cannoli! Okay, well, she's playing video games. Max, why don't you come over here and... Let's see, what can we do? Go away and give me a gift, that's it. Okay, well he's just heading to bed. That's cool too. Looks like everyone's heading to bed. I guess I'll clean up. <laughs> that was fun grandparent times. Get it, girl. What is that move? I swear. She's definitely not gonna be a dancer. <laughs> We know that for sure. Ooh, how about you um, add a present? Add a present, add a present, get excited. Get excited, because Winterfest is tomorrow. Cute. Add one more, actually two more. 
I don't, she's like, I don't want clothes, I want toys. So she added four presents, Zara, Max, Ren, and Oliver. Can she decorate by herself? Oh, how cute would it be if she just like put on some garland, popcorn and cranberries all by herself in the middle of the night. She can't contain her excitement. That would be me, honestly. <laughs> Cutie, cutie. <laughs> I see her being such a good soul. Just like, I want her to have good manners. I want her to be emotional, con emotionally controlled. I want her to be responsible. And then maybe one day she can like crack from all the pressure from from being this like perfect child and she just completely changes and is like this like rebellious person that'd be cool cute and then max is like oh you put um popcorn and cranberries on the tree how cute are you thanks for giving us a head start on decorating you're such a good girl Max, add presents. Add, you're gonna add four as well. Okay, Ren, I think you can get up now. Oh, she just got up. Good girl. Okay, come over here and add presents as well. And then why don't you assist Oliver with his project too? Ooh, breakfast at Shimuzu. I don't think she knows that we're a vampire. Yikes, awkward. I don't know how. I mean, we have freaking vampire teeth. It'd be kind of hard to miss, am I right? Cute. <laughs> Where's she going? Why don't you help them too? What are you off to do? No! Make a mess? Are you insane? Girl, what the heck? Uh-uh. No. Calmly ask not to make a mess. Also, what was that other thing that was there? Encourage recent behavior, encourage doing dishes. And then, what was, I just saw something about responsibility. Ask if good or bad? What is that? Teach about responsibility. Cool. Since he was a responsible kid, he can teach other kids how to be responsible. Uh-oh, she's clingy. <sighs> no, no nightclubs. It's Christmas. You can come over later if you want, but right now I'm kind of helping my nephew with his school project. Sarah, how about you cook up a grand meal? Um, let's do, let's do turkey. And then Ren, uh, decorate with tree skirt. Let's do white and gold snowflake. Good job, Oliver. You finished your project. I'm so proud of you. And look at all these gorgeous presents. We have come a long way in this challenge, you guys. Such a long way. I'm very proud. <laughs> oh, he's hungry. Don't worry. There's a grand meal coming. Um, Max, why don't you um, bake something? Let's do sugar cookies and hopefully we can decorate them. Did you guys do tree skirt? Good, 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 good. Okay, uh, let's place the present pile under a tree. Oh wow, I didn't know you could do that. Okay. Light tree. Let's light the tree with Oliver and Olive. I get kind of confused. She's like, hey, come light the tree. Fingers crossed. It doesn't burst into flames again, you guys. Like, I'm so nervous now every time I light the tree, not gonna lie. Come on, guys. Here we go. Please. Oh, thank God. 
Thank God, a successful tree lighting. I wonder why I can't put ornaments. That's weird, I can't even put a tree topper. Okay, we're gonna change this to, let's see, where's holiday radio? Winter holiday, high volume, good. All right. Cute. I love Winterfest in The Sims. Max, did you make those cookies? Poor dinner, bummer. Well, that just won't do, will it? Let's clean this up. No, don't eat that. Don't eat that. I know you're starving, but... Oh my god, who set the table? My heart! <laughs> I'll get Max to cook it since, since he seems to be a pretty good cooking level. Cute! Can we decorate them? Do you have to be like a certain level to decorate? What the heck? I want to decorate! Oh man. Ooh, Oliver. Ooh. Wait, how? How did his grades go up when he didn't even go to school? That was weird. She's like, ugh. Why is he redoing the turkey? I just did one. Guess it wasn't good enough. Guess I'm not a very good cook. I mean, clearly. Clearly you're not. Max is kind of just a natural cook for some reason. He's always cooking up things, baking random stuff. I, I think it's real cute. See, look at that. Much better. Much, much, much better. See, these breadsticks are poor because of freaking Zara. Ah, good, 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 good. Okay, what else can we make? What else is holiday like? Ooh, a winter cake? Yeah, let's do that. We need a dessert. Oh, but we already have cookies. Nah, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. Let's plan a social event. Invite people over for Christmas. Dun, 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 dun. Beautiful cake. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's call to grand meal. Come and eat. Cute outfit. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful Zara looks. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Where is everyone that we invited? They're slowly making their way here, but it's like freaking blizzarding outside. <laughs> Hopefully none of them die. Cute, cute family times. Someone already dug into the cake. Who? Who dug into the cake? Well, he's having a cookie. That's pretty cute. I don't see anyone eating cake, so what the heck? Oh, Ren's getting some? Are you gonna get sick from that? You like eating human food still? Interesting. Look at everyone's frozen to death. Oh Lord. Can you please get out of our bathtub? That is wildly inappropriate. Come and eat everybody. Okay, gang, I have no idea what happened here, but my, of course my camera stopped recording on the most important part of this Let's Play. But for some reason, Alex was stuck outside and he would not come outside and he would not put his cold weather clothes on and I was trying to get Ren to call him back inside. And then this happened. My freaking camera stopped recording. Holy crap, okay. Ren has a death flower. Give death flower. Come on. Give him the flower. We can't have Alex die. Not on Christmas. Give him the flower. Oh great, and Santa's here. Perfect timing, dude. Ren, come on. No, that's our best friend. Okay, this is happening, this is happening. Oh, Alexander's over back to life. Ren's impassionate pleas to the Grim Reaper must have worked. 
Holy crap, that was a close one. I legit can't believe that happened. Rowan! Get your butt inside, girl! Oh my god, and now she's dying. Dude, and Silas? No way. No way. No way! Nope, don't you dare. <gasps> Okay, is he actually? Okay, wow, wow, wow. This, I legit am shook. Okay, can we give him a, can we, can we give him another death flower? Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Why, why, why? <laughs> okay, Rowan's been brought back to life. Great, great. Um, but this guy just died too. Alex, can... Ask to see outfit. Let me see your freaking cold weather outfit, please. Okay, Rowan's back. Good, 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 good. This is a disaster. This is a freaking disaster. Oh my gosh, and we can't even buy a weather machine right now. Holy crap! Oh! God, Silas is gone. We managed to save two people. This is so sad. Why do disastrous things have to happen on Christmas? It was a party at least. Yeah, for sure, dude. Rest in peace, Silas. Holy cow. Go flirt with Grim. All right, everyone. Ask Father Winter for presents. Let's try and uh, make this day better, cause wow. All right, Oliver got a Chaz McFreely. Winterfest was awful. No one had a good time. Okay, let's just get everyone to open gifts. Okay, what'd Zara get? Uh, Lyrical Amplifier Karaoke Machine. That's fun. Thank you, Savannah. So nice. Alright, guys. Let's try to forget what happened. Everyone open their gifts. Nothing inside the present. Oliver, uh, bubble bottle. A O to Jazz 6 Ghost Quart Quartet. Lo Land Coral Garden. Improbable Ottoman. Okay, that's it. Jeez, let me just double check that Alex is still alive. Yeah, he is. Oh man, rest in peace, Silas. Froze to death on Christmas. I just wanted everyone to come over and have a good time. Do we have Silas's gravestone here? Oh, we do. Ugh. Oh, Another freaking ghost. Okay, let's pop him in the grave. The graveyard. He's not really um, important, but he died on our lot, so yeah. Just put him back here. <laughs> oh my God! I can't believe that happened. Holy crap! My mic cut out again. I'm probably just gonna use the camera audio for this whole video. I'm sorry if it doesn't sound as good as it does, but yeah, 
that's why it sounds a bit different. <laughs> All right, so Max, do you have work today? Eight hours. I'm gonna get you to take a vacation day. And then I'm gonna get you to ask April out on a date because Zara has work. The kids have school. So I think today's a good day. Maybe she can, or maybe he can just be like, hey, do you wanna um, go hang out and like talk about Silas? Cause like, I'm really super sad about it. And I just need someone to talk to. Zara didn't really know him that well. Um, and I know that we were all best friends. So maybe we can just go out and talk for a bit. Aww. Aww. Yeah, let's invite, let's invite April. Alex is so sweet. It's so nice having a best friend in The Sims. They really know how to take care of you. Oh God, everyone's gonna freeze again. Wait, why is Zara here? Go home. Why is Janine here? Oh, no, and gathering. No, no, no. All right, let's get a table. What the heck is so smelly over here? Ew, there's potty bushes right here, but why? <laughs> Gross. All right, we got our table. Let's or ask for advice. You know what? I think April needs a, um, a little upgrade. I'm sure her hair probably has grown maybe a little bit in the past 10 years. So let's just see, let's just see what we can do. I absolutely love this outfit. I still think she's like chic as ever. Yeah, so maybe we can just like grow out her hair a little bit. All right, let's see what we got here. I got some new stuff that I kind of wanted to check out. Maybe this is the reason why I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a C here. Hopefully I could find it. This is new. Um, ooh. Oh, how cute is that? That's the hair I chose for her, by the way. Just nice and long. Look at this jacket. Well, this is just adorable. She's so pretty. <laughs> Dang. I didn't even realize. Cause we only give, gave her that like one outfit and I didn't really mess with anything else. All right guys, we're back. Um, for some reason that gave up our table. <laughs> yeah, let's just get him to complain about his problems to April. Oh, there's the kiss. I, is it ever gonna go away, even though they're just friends? Like, I don't understand. Maybe like, they're both just so sad and they're sitting apart from each other right now, but. Oh, they love to see open for Alexander, how sweet. Okay, now they're sitting next to each other. So they're just having a chat, um, remembering Silas a little bit. Zara, go to work, dude. Oh man, so sad. I feel so bad for them. Like their friend just died on Christmas right in front of them. I can't even imagine. I truly can't. All right, let's order some drinks. Can we like order a drink, please? No, okay. How about you make drinks then? Make drinks for April. Wait, hold on. Hang on, hang on. Make drinks, make drinks for everyone. Let's have something strong. Uh, juice on the rocks. That's just straight alcohol in Sims terms. What, you, why? <sighs> okay, well let's take this party elsewhere then. Let's go to an actual bar. Come and order drinks for everybody. Let's do order drink. Wait, no. I want to order drinks for everybody. I think that they would probably um, get a little tipsy. Maybe he'll do something he, he's going to regret. I don't know. Oh my God, they're flirting. I did not tell them to do that. 
You guys, I swear, I did not tell them to do that. I'm gonna get him to get a sleep replacement just because he's like exhausted right now and I really want him to stay up. I wish we could order drinks for the group. Like, I don't understand. Okay, here we go. Order drinks for the group. Um, Pros and pop. That sounds good. She's got her drink. Look how cute it is. That huge lime. Is she looking at Max? What is she looking at right now? <gasps> she is. Look at that face. Look at that face. Oh gosh, she's really in love with him. Okay, go ahead, drink your drink, boy. Drink up, drink up, drink up. Get a nice buzz going. They started flirting on their own, and I can't believe that. Ask due date? What the heck? I'm confused, I'm doing it. Is she pregnant? Is she in a freaking relationship, or is that like a mischief thing? You guys, what? Hang on. You're not pregnant. You're not pregnant. You're not. Okay, so it was a mischief thing. Okay. Whew. I was like, girl, no way. She likes him. She's always liked him. It's never going away, like ever. They've had a few drinks. They're both sad. I mean, it only makes sense, right? Everyone's a knight, so you can't tell who's who. Can't see, can't tell if there's gonna be any witnesses. Oh gosh. I feel so bad. I feel dirty. <laughs> oh my god, she's all over him. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, uh, oh my god. Look at how sad he looks, and look at how happy she is. Oh my goodness. What are they doing? Oh! They got fireworks, oh my god, you guys. Uh-oh, what's Land Grab doing? Is he gonna say something to us? Girl, get out your skivvies. Okay, it's time to go home, holy crap. Freaking scandalous, am I right? <laughs> wow, what's Zara doing? She's just... Browsing the web, spending some time with Oliver. Share logo cats, how cute. Definitely do that. That's so adorable. Don't you love cats? I love cats too. Let's get a cat. Oh, speaking of which, we need to um, get all of her dog. Oh my gosh, she's morning nugget. Oh, you poor thing. Okay guys, I'm gonna leave this part right here. A lot happened. First of all, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about Charlie for Ren or if she should meet some new people or if she's like an option or what. Also, let me know what you think about the whole April situation. It was just a random hookup. I think he needed to just get it out of his system. I feel really bad for Zara though, but it is what it is. Max is a player. He always has been. <laughs> so yeah, leave me comments. Let me know what you think and I will see you in the next one. Bye.